Hello, this is Matthew from Cop Technical Support. In today's quick video, I just want to go over what and why you would potentially rebuild the database on your Hydrovision recorder. So if we navigate up to storage management, and then on the left hand side, storage HDD, we can see that if we tick the box here next to our hard drive, we get the option to repair database. Now, this can be useful if your recorder is slow to respond, there's input delay, it takes a long time loading between different pages. Uh, it can also be used if you find there's some missing playback. Uh, you've got that blue line there to show there's recording, but it can't play it, for example. Uh, additionally, if in the app, for argument's sake, you have 24 seven recording, um, but the recorder itself is only showing footage for 23 of those 24 hours, it could also work there. The other option that we have and would make us want to run this process is if you've done a significant firmware update. So if you've gone, for example, from version 4 firmware to version 5 firmware, and we find that our storage is having issues, our recorder isn't recording as we'd quite expect, uh, we can repair the database because there may be slight changes in how the recorder actually deals with footage. So as long as we've got our hard drive selected, we click that repair database button and then it prompts us up and it tells us that none of the footage on the hard drive will be erased during this process, but you cannot access playback while this is running. The larger your hard drives and the more data on them, the longer this process will take. It is by no means quick. As long as we're happy with everything there outlined, we click OK, and we see there that's starting to rebuild. Now we can see that this is going very quickly, but I would like to point out that there's only about 80 gigabytes of storage used on this hard drive. That is minimal in comparison to some recorders out there. So this may be a fire and forget option where we set this to go, leave it run for a day, and then come back the next day to site and see if it's rectified our issue. Thank you very much for watching today.